Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I know the background looks a little different and off. I'm outside. It was just very hot inside my house and I'm the type that gets claustrophobic really, really quickly. So I had to take the camera outside and record for you guys because I know I haven't been on here for a while. I have my two dogs here, Ozzy. I know my sister's gonna be watching this, so her dog. So, and I have my Starbucks here. I, if you guys are wondering what I get, I usually get the green tea wrap with almond milk. Olive, relax. Olive always ru ruins my video, guys. I don't really drink milk, I don't know. So, nothing new has been going on. I'm still adjusting to my new job. I'm still, you know, trying to lose weight because I know I gain weight. I got a new tattoo on my rib cage. Um, and that's it. I've been trying to eat more healthy now because your girl has been eating a lot of chatarra food. But, anyways, the video I'm bringing you guys today is going to be on what's in my makeup bag. This is my makeup bag. I got this at. I believe I got this at Ross. It came in a big bag, like kind of like a dofo bag. It came with this bag and other little small bags, which I put in here. There's a freaking bee right there. Shit, better not get close to my Starbucks. So I got this at Ross. I'm not sure if it's still there, but if it is, I it was pretty inexpensive. So hopefully it's still there. If not, then I'm sure you can find something similar at Target or Ulta. Maybe even Sephora. I have three bags in here. I have a small one, one for my brushes, and one that carries like my whole like foundation slash powders. And these are like my little compact things, I guess, which carry things that like concealers. So first, I'm just gonna start off with a bag. I usually carry two palettes in here. I carry my Kylie Cosmetics palette, which looks like this. This is my favorite palette. And then my Modern Renaissance palette, which I carry everywhere I go, as you can see. And then I also carry this small one from Too Faced. It's the Natural Matte Eyeshadow Palette. It looks like this. Shout out to Ale. She gave me this when we went to Vegas. I carry this big bag, which contains a lot of important things. So the first thing I carry in this bag is my MAC Studio Fix Foundation Powder, I think. And it's in the color NC25. It looks like this. It's very full coverage. And then I carry my primer from Maybelline. It's the Master Prime by Face Studio Primer and Insta Blur and Smooth. It's pretty good for it to be a drugstore primer, I guess. And then I carry more eyeshadows. This is the ColourPop First Charmer. This was only $18, and that's not a that's not expensive at all. It comes with four eyeshadows, two mattes, two mattes, and what else? I think one ultra glitter, and then one is satin. The satin one is called Truth. Looks like that. And then the one that's the ultra glitter, it's this one right here. I like to use that one on my lid. And then the two matte are my favorite. This one right here, this is called Seeker. Oh, I didn't tell you what the other one was called. This one's called Fluffy. And the first one is called Truth. And then the other mat is called Brady. Like Tom Brady. So it's that one right there. And I'm not sure if these are limited edition. I don't think so. I asked the lady at Ulta. She said that it wasn't limited edition so i'm sure you guys can find this at ulta that's where i found mine and you can also purchase it online and then i have my kylie cosmetics highlighters and this is in the color french vanilla it doesn't have the name i've had this for so long already so this is in the color french vanilla this is my favorite highlighter and then i carry two benefit products here i carry this blush from benefit and it's a california blush i love this blush and then i carry the hula bronzer from benefit this is the best bronzer in the world i love it 
And then I carry my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this is in the color Fair Neutral. Best concealer in the world, I highly recommend it. It's full coverage to the max. So I only use this when I want that bright, full coverage look. And then I carry my Tarte Shape Tape Foundation, which I don't really use anymore because it's too white for me. So I don't use that anymore. So last but not least, my favorite foundation is the Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation. It looks like this. And the packaging is so beautiful. I don't even want to throw the packaging away. And I got the color 4.0. I got color matched. Apparently the girl at Ulta said I do not know how to color match. So if I don't know how to color match, I'm sorry. But she did color match me to my neck. So I'm proud of that, I guess. So shout out to the girl at Ulta for color matching me. And then that's it for this bag. This bag is pretty self-explanatory. I just carry all my brushes here. That's where I carry that. This little baggie right here is just my little compact thing. I have two mascaras. The first one is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. This is my favorite mascara when it comes to my lower lash line. And then for my top lashes, I use the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. In Black is Black, this is the best mascara in the drugstore. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Ebony. I use that for my eyebrows all the time. Because for some reason, guys, I cannot do my eyebrows with a pencil. It's just too hard for me, so I prefer a dip brow. And then, of course, I have my Duo Glue, which smells like shit to me. <laughs> It's the best eyelash glue, I guess, in the game. If you guys have any recommendations for eyelashes, let me know in the comments down below. I have another alternative foundation, which I don't really use anymore. This is really old. I should actually throw it away. It's a Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation slash Concealer. I actually like this foundation, but for some reason, I could set a whole lot of powder on my face. And this just doesn't set, so I feel like my face is just cakey and I don't like that feeling so I should just throw this away I do recommend it if you like full coverage though and then I have an alternative concealer which I use the Maybelline Master Conceal I use this every day because sometimes I don't want to use a tarp shape tape concealer because this is expensive so I only use this on the days I want full coverage and then I use this pretty much every day like for work and stuff like that so I use that one and then I just have a eyeliner I don't use eyeliner anymore as you guys know this is the one from J cats roll it up auto lip liner I don't know this is considered a lip liner but guys it's black like who wears black lip liner I just use it as an eyeliner and then I have another duals tiny one and then I have some tweezers and I use these tweezers when it comes to my eyelashes because like I said guys if you know how to put on eyelashes with your fingers then you are the you are the master of eyelashes because I cannot put on my eyelashes without tweezers because if not I'll have like a heart attack I do have more makeup in my makeup drawer but of course those are just too big for me to carry on my makeup bag and they're just not compact for me to take because if I feel like if I take it it'll break but if you guys do want a makeup collection I will go ahead and do that for you guys just give this video a big thumbs up hit that bell for post notifications subscribe to my channel for more beautiful content I love you guys all so 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 much and thank you guys for watching once again I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.